I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us, Andrew. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know. Okay. Amplify Android Terror. Android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne! Got no, I still haven't caught sight of him. No sign of him having left this rocky area. It's more like they're hiding something. Have you seen him, Krill? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Energy. Gohan, you find him? No. He's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Hmm. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. No calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go on. Androids, get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. <laughs> How did they find me? Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a senzu bean! Uh, okay. This can't 
me Piccolo's power all over. Yeah! Eliminate you! a weakling like you hope to accomplish I will eliminate you I will eliminate special ring cannon Does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? <laughs> Your energy is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Just as I calculate. Don't take this one. <laughs> the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! 
Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you. What? Ah! Mother! Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah, I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So, where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh. A female type? Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with. But I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giro's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? Tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the android. Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. Right. Hurry, we've got to find that lab before the androids are activated.
so if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. It's close. What just happened? How dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't... What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks. Can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants. But as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. That's what Dr. Giroux wanted, right? to kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about... <laughs> How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! <laughs> kill Kakarot! Ha! Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! I only helped out because I was bored. That road looks long. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen, because I'm going to blow every one of you to peace. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow. What a letdown. Fine. I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you alright? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still. Just watching isn't much fun. I guess... I do you know what that means? <laughs> Be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Was it? I'm 
much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy is even stronger than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. The, uh, damn you, woman. Now you've done it! Oh. I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry, they're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours, so should we get going? But aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Oh, you can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey, wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? 
No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win! Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on Planet Namek, I he told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway. Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. <laughs>